Hello! This video is for students taking IPC 144 at Seneca College. In this video, I will show you how to write and compile a program on your local Windows computer. The reason that you will want to know how to do this, as opposed to just writing programs on Matrix and uh, working that way, is because there will be times when you will want to write a program and you won't have a connection to the internet. And in those times, you won't be able to use Matrix. So knowing how to write programs on your local machine is really useful. Uh, in order to write a program, all you really need is a text editor. In order to uh, translate that program into something that the computer understands, you will also need a compiler. So the text editor that I'm using is Sublime Text, uh, Sublime Text 2, actually. Uh, whichever uh, editor you want to use is fine. There is no correct one. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, for, a, for our compiler, we will be using Visual Studio. So here, uh, you can see that I have the code already written. And um, just any text editor will allow you to pretty much do the same things. You save the code as a, as, uh, a simple file on your, on your computer somewhere. Now, for me, I've saved it onto my desktop because it makes it easy for me to find later. Uh, in order for me to now translate this to something that the computer understands, I need to use the compiler. Now, once you've installed Visual Studio, um, what you will find is that you then have something called Visual Studio Tools. Uh, make sure you do install the command line tools when you install Visual Studio. And what that means is that you will have a Visual Studio command prompt. So it's under Visual Studio Tools and over here. Now, when we bring this up, what you will find is a window that a lot of you may recognize as an MS-DOS prompt. And what this is, is really, it's an MS-DOS prompt that has some environment variables set up properly so that the compiler knows where to find libraries and files and so on. If you bring up a regular MS-DOS prompt, your program won't compile because it won't find all the things it needs to put the program together. So um, when it brings it up, this is the path that it's in. I'm going to go into the path that where the program is. So just going to do that quickly right now. C colon uh, users minus min to the desktop. And once I'm here, if I type dir, I can see that I have a program here called hello.c. Now this program uh, is human readable right now. It's the text that we saw earlier. Uh, in order for me to translate it, I simply have to then uh, compile the program. To do this, I type cl hello.c. Now CL is essentially the same thing as uh, GCC on Matrix. It does the same job. It is calling the command, uh, the compiler, the C compiler, from uh, Visual Studio instead to do the translation. So what this will do is it will translate this program, uh, this code, into uh, machine language for me. And when I run it, it says that there's some, uh, that there's an out and there's an OBJ. And in fact, if I type dir I now notice that there is an executable and an OBJ file. Uh, don't worry about what this part is. This uh, You won't need this file. The hello.exe is equivalent to a.out on matrix. It is the program that actually, uh, it is the actual program that the machine runs. And if in fact, if I just type hello right now, it runs the program. So this is how you can write programs on your local machine and test it out if you want to do so. Thank you.